Okay, here's my WooCommerce live site, mindfulimprint.com. This is what the, the uh, shop page looks like. I used Elementor Pro to create this shop product archive page. Now when I go to the dashboard, and the, if you created your page like an actual page in here like this, the way I did in my tutorial, I prefer to make an actual page and then import it from a template. So here's the shop page I created in Astra. If you try and edit with Elementor and you get the frozen screen, I think it's because it doesn't it kind of conflicts with uh, Elementor Pro and the theme builder. What you need to do to edit that is you just need to go to Elementor templates and or theme builder and then go to where your instance of that shop page is and then edit it there. So if you edit with Elementor that you can see it loads right up. The reason I do it the way I do it is because I like to tell WooCommerce where the shop page is. So under WooCommerce settings, you can see you can designate a page here. And I like to fill that in just to have some redundancy. I also use permalinks so that the product appears under the shop parent. So when you go to permalinks, I I use um, the shop and then the category so that's why I create a page and if you ever need to edit you know certain things about the page you can still do that in uh, Astra so if you go to your pages and you go to your shop page and you just click edit you can get the Astra WordPress settings here get all of the uh, sidebar and the full width or the full width stretched it's just when you edit with Elementor that you're going to run into some issues so um, the way that you would edit the actual um, Elementor bit would be under uh, the theme builder and then you go to your shop instance edit here and then we got the uh, You can adjust the display conditions here. So, um, yeah. Or, of course, if you're using the new theme builder, you know, you go to your product archives and you find your shop instance just the same. And you edit the conditions here if you ever need to change it. So, I figured I would just share that quick video. Um, I have a little closing screen. You can find resources in the description, uh, yada, yada. If you have a question, I might make a video response, and thanks for watching.